Hi, my name is Lisa. I'm a solutions engineer at Bricada, and this tutorial will cover how to use the floor plan feature in command. There are two ways that I can access my pre-uploaded floor plan. The first is by using our integrated Google Maps feature. By selecting the map button in the bottom right corner, I can zoom into the building that I'm interested in. And here I can see a high level view of all of the cameras in my building. This integration with maps also shows the status of all my cameras so that I know if the cameras are up and running or if they're offline. Be sure to check out our proactive notifications video to learn how to be notified if your camera goes offline. To get to the floor plan, I am simply going to click on the name of the site and that will take me to its floor plan. Before I discuss how to use the floor plan, there's another way to get here that I'd like to walk through. First, I'm going to go back to all products by clicking the waffle icon in the top left corner. There, I will again see the floor plans icon for an even more direct path. Once I click on the icon, it brings me to the floor plans view where I can easily toggle between all of my different sites and subsites by using the location button at the top of my page. When this floor plan was first uploaded, we placed all of our cameras and environmental sensors within the layout. So where you see these green dots placed are the actual locations of the devices we have at our headquarters. If I click on an environmental sensor, which is denoted by a green circle with white dots, I can see live air quality readings along with color-coded warnings depending on the conditions in the room. I can also click on any camera, which is a green circle with a camera icon, and pull up a small live feed. If I click that camera feed, it will bring me to that camera's page. But I'm going to head back to the floor plan because that's the topic of this video. Let's talk about a few of the different features that we offer with our floor plans. The first feature, which is what we're viewing right now, is motion detection. When motion is detected in front of a camera, the green field of view of the camera will radiate. This is great for tracking movement throughout a building, especially during times when you don't expect someone to be there. Using the toggle at the top, we can change the data we are looking at to people heat map. We aren't collecting body heat, but we do highlight areas where people have congregated most over different timeframes. We love using this feature for determining the best spots to clean our facility. It also helps our retail customers understand where to place merchandise based on customer movement. To calibrate the heat map for a camera, I will click the calibrate button, which will pull up a new window where I can match the camera frame to the floor plan. First, I will select four points along the corners of the floor within the camera frame. Then I will do the same thing on the floor plan, making sure to match up the A, B, C, and D dots with each other. Once I have both boxes drawn, I can mouse over the camera and watch my cursor appear in the floor plan to verify that it is set up correctly. Then I will hit the save button to return back to the floor plan. The last thing I can do with my floor plan is share it with others outside of my organization. Much like live links to individual cameras and archived clips, I can either use a pre-saved contact or enter new contact info to send out this information. This is great for sharing both a layout and live views of cameras to first responders during emergency situations. That's all there is to Vercada floor plans. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.